Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I think is gonna be a super quick one. I asked you all if you wanted to see how I create content calendars and editorial calendars using Asana. You said yes, so here we are, let's hop into it. So if we go down in our Asana board and click on the plus sign here to create a new project, you'll click on use a template and then just go ahead and choose a blank project. You can customize all this stuff later down the road, of course. We're just gonna say test content calendar and we'll leave this public to my organization. Again, you can play around with the privacy settings as you see fit. And then we'll choose a calendar view and create project. And it's just this blank calendar, as you can see. I just go ahead in here and I start clicking and I will say Twitter. Um, and then I'll say whatever the post is. Maybe it's an MLK day post. And then you can click on that actual task and you can write the copy in here. So sample copy, uh, you know, include your hashtags, all of that. And then you can even upload an image using this attachment. These, this is like a sample grid that I was doing for a video. So I'll just upload that as an example. And that's really, like the most basic way to do it. That's all you really need to do. Now, the reason that doing this in Asana is pretty cool is because I could assign this, so I can assign this to a different member of my team if you know they need to approve it or I need them to schedule it. Um, you can also add subtasks to this. So I could say um, review copy, schedule content, and I can assign these different things to different people. So maybe for review copy, that goes to the client. If I want to create an Asana board, that includes the clients. And then once they approve it, they can click on this. And then maybe I assign re uh, schedule content to an intern or an assistant or something like that. And then if you close that, let's just say um, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. You know, you write all of your posts in there. Well, what you can also do is you can drag these around. Obviously MLK Day is, you know, a certain day, but if this was just like an evergreen post, you can drag these around as you see fit as well and really reorder the calendar, which I like doing. You can also click up here on weekends and turn weekends on or off. I would probably recommend turning them on if you're using this for a social media content calendar, because as you probably know, social does doesn't sleep. So if you are planning out content for a client, you should be planning it for the weekend too. You probably won't be actually posting it on the weekend yourself, but you'll have scheduled it to go out on the weekend. So again, you know, you can share this content calendar with different teammates. The only thing here to keep in mind is if you do want to share this with a client, you'll probably want to do one of two things. You can either upgrade to a paid Asana plan where you can select which projects different people in your team can see, or you'll want to create a separate Asana board just for that client. I've done that for a lot of clients. We'll just use one of their email addresses to create the Asana board for their, their marketing, and then they'll add me on to that. Because the reason you won't want to just add them on and invite them as a teammate to your board if you have the free plan is because then they're gonna be able to see all of your projects, which you probably don't wanna have, you know, you probably don't want them to see your other client's stuff. So that's what you can do there. Now, if you also go over to board view, in board view, you can create different sections. So this is nice because you can categorize things however you want. So you could do ideas, for example, and drag this over to the beginning. So you can just ha sort of have like a running list of content ideas that need to be fleshed out and scheduled. So I could say um, founder's birthday, birthday post and we want to do a women's day post, etc. right? So these are just ideas. So you can kind of have these running. And then again, you could assign these to an intern or something and say, this is what we have planned for the content calendar, but can you actually develop the posts and just click on these and create an image and post copy and all of that. And then once it's good, you can schedule it out and assign a due date to it. And if you go back to calendar view, as you can see there, it shows up right there in the calendar. Now, of course, this is not going to actually schedule things for you. So I just wanna be clear about this. This is really an editorial calendar. It's not going to you know, post onto your social channels. So you wanna use a social media scheduler for that, 
or Asana does have an app, which I really like. So if you are used to posting things natively on your phone, like on Instagram or whatever, you can just use the Asana app and copy and paste things that way. But that's what I like to do for my content calendars. Now I wanna show you my editorial calendar for my own content creation, which just did something super similar. I created a blank calendar and then I go in and I start moving things around. I know during December I was doing three videos a week. So every Wednesday I did a week on my business. So I plugged that in first and then I would just, you know, fill in the rest. Uh, really, I mean, it's pretty, pretty straightforward there. And then if we click on the tasks, I actually, do my notes in here as well. So this one was a sponsored video. So I had like a little script that I needed to do for the ad placement in the beginning. Um, week in my business wouldn't have any notes cause that's just what happens, but here's a good example. So this is a podcast episode and I outline my episodes. I don't script them. I script some of my videos, but not very many. Usually I'm just working off an, of an outline. So I create, you know, my outline right in here. And then it's nice because when I record the podcast, I can just pull up a sauna or again, I can pull it up on my phone as well. And I'm not having to like worry about printing anything off or pulling up any additional programs because I'm in a sauna all day as it is anyway. Um, and then I didn't start doing this until recently. So you can add subtasks on here. So I have record, edit and publish. So again, there might be different areas of your content strategy that different people are, are responsible for. So I could assign editing to my editor or publishing to my assistant to get everything scheduled out on social media. Um, and it also just helps me keep track of things. So I, you know, I, I did this, I did this actually, wait, this is done. <laughs> I just realized this got published today. So now every, every component of that is done. I could even like upload the thumbnail to this. If I was going to assign this off to somebody to an assistant or something to upload it. If you're new to Asana and you don't know this, you can also tag people. So if I wanted to say, please schedule a, um, an Instagram post to go along with this. And then since I tagged my teammate, AKA me, they'll get a notification and you can chat back and forth in these tasks too, which is another thing that I really like. I personally am on the no Slack train. Like Slack gives me major anxiety. I don't know why I hate having notifications on. So I just find this to be a little bit less of a disruptive way to keep in touch with your team, specifically about the content that's gonna be going out um, without having to ping them or email them and things like that all the time. So that's it. That's how I create my content calendars, my editorial calendars in Asana. I really enjoyed this process and I hope that it helped you. If it did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. I post every Monday, Friday and most Wednesdays. So thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one and uh, yeah, have a great day, bye.